The answer is always, always inside of you. Are you brave enough to go within and face your demons? Now we know about physical healing, but do we really know how to fully heal emotional traumas and inner wounds? I have faced many difficult challenges from a very young age. When I was 13, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. He passed away within a year, and shortly after his death, my mom fell ill and I became a young carer at the age of 14. As a result of that trauma, I started suffering from anxiety and depression to a point I could not even step outside the house without having a panic attack. I was suffering from anxiety and depression for more than 13 years and during this time there was one thing I was good at and that was running away and distracting myself just so I can avoid feeling the pain of whatever it is that I was going through. At the time, I didn't realize I was just suppressing my feelings to a point. I was emotionally breaking down a lot, which made my anxiety and depression worse. Until over two years ago, I got to a point where I could no longer just suppress my feelings and emotions anymore. And I started doing something I had never done before, and that was to look within myself to find the answers, because everything I was doing outside of me was not working. So I embarked on a journey towards self-love and self-discovery. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. It has been the most painful thing that I've ever done but it's also been the most rewarding. When you start to look within, it feels like your whole world is falling apart. It's almost like you're holding a mirror, but then you turn that mirror around to yourself and you see all the wounds that you've been suppressing over the years. So like I said, since everything I was doing outside of me wasn't working, I made it my mission that I would spend some time with myself every single day with no distractions, no running away for what I needed to feel in order to heal. This is what I was doing every single day. I would sit in a comfortable place and ask myself in the most loving way, like how I would ask another human being. Hand on heart, two questions. How are you feeling today? Are you okay? Now, when I started to ask these questions, everything that suppressed for more than 15 years came up for me to heal one by one. Everything about my dad, my mom, my rough childhood, and even the things I didn't even realize that was suppressing came up for me to heal. Now, during this process, I was deliberately feeling everything to the core of my being, and I was in intense pain, but somehow, somehow, I just surrendered to it, knowing that I was just releasing something that needed healing. So I kept going. Weeks went by, months went by, until one day, I didn't feel the intense pain anymore. I was no longer just coping or managing my feelings and emotions. I was starting to feel lighter and good about my circumstances. And in that moment, I thought to myself, maybe, just maybe, I have finally healed past this trauma. And I did. I also realized that the treasure I was seeking on the outside was within me this entire time. So what I want to say to you is, the answer is always, always inside of you. But the question is, are you brave enough to go within and face your demons first?
So if you like to contact me, I have a Facebook page and a YouTube channel that I set up to help motivate people who are going through hard times. If you like, you can follow me or on Facebook or YouTube. <laughs> um, before I leave, I will I'll leave you with a quote by Veronika Tugaleva. It goes, emotional pain cannot kill you, but running away from, from it can. Allow, embrace, let yourself feel, let yourself heal. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.